Hello, Carmela from Dundrum in County Down. And thank you for joining us. But a special thank you to Alex, who day by day has been working hard to enable us to meet together in this virtual space uh, and, if you like, have a real sense of connection with other members of the community. Thank you, Alex. This week, we're remembering um, David Stevens, who died 10 years ago. And we're using parts of the evening liturgies that he drew together as a basis and a common theme, if you like, for these different reflections. So let us pray. Spirit of stillness, be with us as we enter the silence where you wait for us. Spirit of holiness, live in us as we move away from the pressure and strain of our daily lives to enter the silence which is your gift to us. Spirit of quiet, help us to listen. As well as being members together in the Coromila community, uh, David and I uh, work together in different respects. First of all, uh, as when I was leader, he was my boss as chair of council. And what I really appreciated about those meetings was that he could at the same time be absolutely supportive, but also very challenging. And that's what any worker needs from a good boss. David was also the General Secretary of the Irish Council of Churches and the Irish Interchurch Meeting. And it's amazing how over the years, when I've had the opportunity to meet other different church leaders and talk about Coromila perhaps, they would remember David Stevens and the lessons they learned from him. But it's the faith and politics group that I want to particularly mention. Uh, that was a group of across the denominations that met to reflect theologically on what could be learned uh, from theology about the troubles that we were facing. And it made a significant number of books available. Um, and those, I think, were some of the most profound reflections at that time uh, on the troubles and the challenge to Christian faith. Another member of that group was Father Brian Lennon, a Jesuit who founded Community Dialogue. And I asked him for his recollection of David Stevens. I met David Stevens probably in 1983, I suspect, because it was around that time that a group of us from different churches came together to set up the Faith and Politics group. And that group went on, I think, till about 2005. And we published a lot of documents. Now, that's an easy thing to say, but that means that we actually argued not over every, not only over every word, but every letter of every word. And there was a group of 10 to 15 in it. And David was one of the leading people in it um, and was hugely influential in those documents. He was a very deep thinker. He was a very bright intellectual. He had a, a degree, I think, in physics or chemistry, I can't remember which, chemistry I think it was. And he brought that to bear on his theology with, I think, a, a huge benefit from the interaction of the two. He was hugely committed to the church and to ecumenism and to dialogue. And if there is one term that would define David's intellectual commitment, it was the idea of relationships in society. The last thing I'd say about him is that we argued a lot about things like forgiveness. I would have come to the idea that maybe forgiving is something that a person who's been wronged in the end does for themselves to get freedom. And David would have been uneasy about that because he would say, where is this helping the relationships? And we would argue that back and forward. But the other really important thing about David you knew was Mathilde and his family and those holidays in Switzerland during the summer and the way he would come back from those holidays talking about all that went on there in the family, and that was incredibly important to him. His early death was a huge loss, obviously, to Matilda and his family, but it was a huge loss to the rest of us, and I would say a huge loss to Northern Ireland as well. His contribution to Coromila, I'm sure, was immense. Thanks, Brian. Let us pray. We bring before you the members of the community listed in the prayer guide for today. Duncan and Susie Morrow, David, Michael and Kirsty, 
Johnson and Judith Morrow, Jenny, Amy and Helen, Lucy and Philip Morrow, Ben, Sam, Emily and Jack. Lord, in your mercy. We bring to God someone whom we have met or remember today and for whom we want to pray. Lord, in your mercy. We bring to God someone who is hurting tonight and needs our prayer. Lord, in your mercy. We bring to God a troubled situation in our world tonight. Lord, in your mercy. We bring to God silently someone whom we find it hard to forgive or trust. Lord, in your mercy. We bring ourselves to God, that we might grow in generosity of spirit, clarity of mind and warmth of affection. Lord, in your mercy. <laughs> 